Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So before we start off this video, I just wanted to shout out Space Station Gaming. I'm going to put a picture right on the screen for you right now. They sent us an awesome care package of just dope, dope, you know, water bottles, keychains, hoodie, and a bunch of shirts. I mean, it was super, super cool of them to hit us up. It was a lot of money worth of merchandise, so that was awesome. Um, but that is not what we're going to be talking about today. What we're going to be doing today is showing you guys some replays of some insane bb gameplay so we're going to be playing or we're going to be showing you guys our bb gameplay we just got it to rank 32 you guys know we're pushing currently let's organize by trophies we have a rank 32 bb and gene our gene was 11 11 but no one wanted to play with us we decided to kill up with randoms twice and we lost do not trust those randoms when you're over 1000 trophies but uh, i actually wanted to tell you guys a really funny story that i thought you guys would love so recently my chest started hurting and a few of you guys know this who are on the Twitch side, like my, my left side, like right over here. You guys can't see it on screen, but it's basically like my, my bottom left rib was just killing me. And I had no clue what it was. And I went to the doctor. Um, they said it was just like I have a bruised or like fractured rib and I just shouldn't do any physical activity or whatever. And I'm trying to think, how did I hurt this rib? What did I do? And then it sprung on me. I... You guys will not believe this, but I actually broke or sprained or whatever I did to my rib by raging at Jigsaw. He had an open net and he supered the ball backwards because he was auto aiming. And I just like whipped my phone. I like jerked my body to the left and I just completely like tore a rib basically. So yeah, I broke my body raging at Jigsaw, but I thought you guys would find that super, super funny. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be showing you guys some gameplay over here. We have some really insane, some really fast, some really high level games. So we're just going to show you guys all of them in the replays. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys what we have. Now before I start the video, I also want to shout out SSG. Um, that's the organization myself and OG play for. They sent me a ton of good stuff. Super comfortable if you guys want to help rep us or if you guys like the org or anything like that, you can buy the stuff. I always have the links in the description below for all the stuff that SSG is partnered with. So you can definitely check it out. Um, it's not that expensive at all and it's really good material. So I check it out. But with that being said, let's start and get into the games. Now this game's actually a little bit funny. <laughs> We're going up against Ash, YouTube, and Phil, who are two really well-known NA players. We're playing with Jason. I'm obviously playing with OG. OG is going for the, uh, the rank 35 Brox. We're able to take out Ash and their other players super quickly. We actually got the triple kill, even though the other one we only hit with the ball. So that's going to be a really quick first goal. And then we're going to start over here. I'm one shot away from my super. I know there's going to be a BB on that right side. I just hit the BB away, gain my super, and shoot it in the net. Yes, the game against these amazing pro players took exactly 23 seconds. We just walked through them. That was five games ago. Um, then let, let me tell you, that game, five... That was five games ago. And from that game until my last game, there were 48 minutes in between for five games. It's absolutely ridiculous. If you think about it, the, the most, the longest each game was, which you guys will see, was not very long at all. And it took us 48 minutes to gain 25 cups and it only gets worse from here. So it's a, it's a grind. Shout out to everyone else who's getting ranked 35s. It's insane. In NA, I believe it's a little bit harder just because matchmaking takes forever. Let's hop into the next game. Enough talking and let's show you guys what happened there. So this game we're going against the double counter in Bull and uh, Shelly. That counters the bull. Uh, I mean, our BB. We're playing with a spike. Jason. Jason's a madman. Nobody else wants to play with somebody who's going for a rank 35 unless they're doing it as well. But Jason is out here with like the 700 spike representing. He's just an absolute god. So huge shout out to Jason if you're watching this video. Um, so we're able to get a quick first goal over there. I'm going to try to go over here and finesse the goal, but I wasn't able to balance the shot. The ball made a good read and stopped it. We're able to take out two of them. I'm pretty low over here, so I kind of got to back off. OG and Jason are getting pretty aggressive with their play over here. We're just chilling. We're going to try and walk it in. Um, OG's going to use that super on the right side. We're just going to chill here. A little bit of BM and just that balance shot. Totally unnecessary. We're going to do it anyways. And again, a 40 second game. Now in between those games were 11 minutes of matchmaking. You guys can see those two games combined took a little bit over a minute. And the matchmaking for them was about 20 minutes. So that shows you guys what the grind is really like. It's a lot of patience. It's a lot of sitting. We know we can just run through these teams. But it's a lot of just sitting, being patient. You know, you know it's going to take forever. But you really have to just sit down, find something else to do while in matchmaking. Let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what happened. 
So over here, we're going to be going up against an 8-bit, a Frank, and a Poco. Now, we do have a fairly good matchup against this. As a Shield BB, it's really difficult for us to get towards that 8-bit. So luckily, we're playing with OG, who has really good range on the Brock and is able to take it down. You guys can see, we're just chilling in this bush so far. We're able to pick up the kill over there. Same thing with the BB. We're going to go towards it. We're going to be able, or the 8-bit, we're going to be able to pick it up. And OG, unnecessary super, but we're going to break the walls for the future. So he's going to take it down. It's going to give us the one to nothing lead. Same thing, uh, 25 seconds into the game, we scored super fast. Um, I'm just waiting for OG to chip over there. I'm going to pick up this ball. I want to go for the shot, but I'm being super patient because I know they're backed up. Jason has a super, OG's tapping. So I'm just chilling in the back, going to super down the right side. And again, super, super quick game. Um, in between that game, it was only six minutes, so it wasn't the longest matchmaking in the world. That was really efficient. If you're talking about this high, but again, let's hop into the next game. Let's show you guys what happened. Now, this game was actually super, super competitive. If you compare it to the other games, we're facing almost a mirror comp, but except for a Brock, they're going with the Primo. Brock actually isn't that good over here. OG's just making it work right now. You guys know good players can make almost every brawler work everywhere unless it's just super on meta. We're walking around with the ball right now. We're the designated ball carrier. Usually you have like a tank such as a Primo or like a Frank or a Mortis to be the ball carrier, but Shield BB can do the trick. We're gonna be able to pick up a kill on that BB. OG's gonna get the ball, he's gonna pass it to me. He's gonna super it, and again, I'm just gonna put that ball in the net. 25 seconds into the game, we're able to get a goal. Um, and this is when it starts to get a little bit competitive. It's actually a little bit tough for us, since the Primo does have a lot of HP, and plus they have range, and they're actually using the Shield BB too. I've noticed a ton more Shield BBs than normal which is awesome. I think ever since I started playing it roughly a week ago, I've seen a ton more of it and it's it's becoming a little bit more into meta. So I'm trying to see if me playing Shield BB alone can change the meta. If people can see me playing it, stuff like that. You guys can see OG's just standing still here. He thought we won the game for some reason. He's almost gonna be able to stop it either way, but they're just gonna put that ball in the net. The BM from the spike, you, lo you love to see that. And we're a minute into the game now. It's currently one to one. But yeah, I really wanna see some of you guys play shield bb i know you guys don't really play it that much you guys use the old bb because that's that's what we thought was meta but really try it out i really want to hear your guys opinion in the comment section below regarding this uh this bb star power so we actually almost went down and almost lost the game but luckily jason was there you guys can see their bb's kind of being sneak on that right side not trying to expose itself but since it went out of the grass, we knew it was over there. We're going to pass that ball up because if we have the ball and then we pass the ball, we don't have our shield anymore. So I didn't want to have the ball in, in an aggro possession. I'm just going to knock that Primo back right into the spike and OG, knowing that they would take it out. I'm pressuring this right side really, or this left side really well. Jason makes a sick pass. That threw ball right through the middle. He's going to give it to me and I'm just going to put that ball in the net. So really well played over there by Jason. That got us to 10.99. One game away from rank 32. Let's hop into the game and let's show you guys what happened. So over here we're going up against a Mortis, a Primo, and a Spike. Whenever you face a Mortis and Bravo and you're at top level competition, unless you're fully counter comped or facing Patchy or second, you're kind of just like, okay, this is going to be an easy win. Uh, we're able to get a double hit off the start, which is really good. We're able to pick up a kill on that Mortis. And we almost got a kill on that spike. We weren't able to. OG's going to whiff a couple shots over there. He's going to end up picking up the last one. OG's going to get the ball. And he's going to put the ball in the net. The Mortis actually might have been able to catch that. But OG's going to score anyways. Again, 25 seconds into the game. We got a goal. It seems to be a trend. We're just going to pick up the ball here. I was going to try and get a goal happening. And the Mortis usually plays really aggressive. But this one was playing very defensive. But again, OG's just going to break a wall. I tried supering it on that side. Mortis blocked it. But anyways, we pick up the kill. We're going to walk this one in because we want the goal. OG's not getting this one. And that's going to give us the rank 32 BB. So that's going to cap off the grind for the video. But we're not done yet. There were, I think, two competitive games that I really want to show you guys. One that we lost, one that we won. Um, so I'm going to be definitely showing you guys those games. Uh, we were playing with Jason. We went undefeated with Jason. I'll show you guys the battle log right now. Uh, we just exit out. We played earlier with Patchy. And you guys know when we're playing with Patchy, it gets a little bit... Uh, it gets a little bit risky. You don't want to play high cups with Patchy ever because he, he's a young guy. He, he doesn't really care about time. He has the mindset of if we lose, oh well, we lose. That's it. GG. And that, that's not really the best thing in the world. So anyways, we're going to scroll down over here. And you guys can see it's just straight wins until we have our game with Patchy down below. Just straight wins. Did a really good job. You guys can see this game was 20 minutes ago, then 26, 32, so 6 minutes. And it gets to 43, so an 11 minute matchmaking. 54, another 11 minute matchmaking. A 5 minute, and it, it's just really, really bad. So let's hop into the competitive games. Let's show you guys what happened. Let's get into them. 
So we're going to get into this game over here. Now, we don't know if we're going to win or lose this one. Well, I know, but you guys don't know. And we're playing with Patchy. Uh, we, we're playing a lot of EU for some reason in, like, the middle of the day. I really don't know why. Patchy being from the west coast of uh, America, that's a really far way away from uh, Europe. And he's just having a ton of delay. So you also have to keep that into account. We're facing GJ, who's well known to be a very, very good player in Brawl Stars. Um, you guys can see they have a Mortis, a pretty good Mortis at that, and a Piper, a Poco. That's a pretty strong comp. Not necessarily on this map, but it's it, those are three pretty strong brawlers if you guys know what you're doing. Patchy's holding his lane over there on the left side against that Mortis. And you guys can see us on this right side. Well, OG on the right side kind of dealing with GJ. We're trying to go up the middle, use our shield to our advantage. You guys can see Patchy is going to go down. He almost picked up the kill. OG's doing a pretty good job tapping at this point. I'm just trying to be passive, take my time before I go in. I don't want to force something. OG's going to use that super over there, and we're going to be able just to walk that one up, put it on that right side. So we tanked 10k HP over there. You can't do that with any other brawler, only the BB. Um, but again, I'm going to pick up the ball, move up this right side, being super patient with it. I was very close to having a goal here, but I wasn't able to get my shot off in time. OG's able to double tap that Piper. Patchy's going to pick up the ball on the right side. He does have an open net over here, but the Mortis is going to defend it. So he's going to walk forward. He's going to place that one in the net, and that is going to end the game against GJ. So that was a pretty good game against pretty good EU players. We're going to hop into another game, which is against other really good EU players. Let's hop into it, and let's see what happens. So we're going to get into this game. We're actually facing a 1,055 Tara, who's currently third in the world, Hug. I've only faced him like three times. We won every time in like 20 seconds. But nonetheless, he's still a really good player. Uh, we're playing with Patchy still in this game. Um, we're able to win our lane super easily. OG's going to pass me the ball after he two taps Hug. And I'm just going to walk this one right in the net. It's going to be a really easy first goal for us 18 seconds into the game. So we're super confident going into this. And then things start to take a turn, so I'm able to pick up the ball, or at least I'm going to go near the ball. I'm trying to bait that Mortis a little bit. I missed the Mortis. OG's still able to get the kill. Uh, we're able to pick up the kill over there, and by this point, I thought it was over. Patchy's going to miss a shot over there and charge the Tara Super, so that's very game-changing. If Patchy hit one shot, or if he got the comeback on the Carl Super, or if he just didn't get hit by that Carl shot, we would have won the game over there. But instead, it, he missed a shot and he charged the Tara Super. And now he's just kind of all over the place. He's going to be spinning over there. I'm going to be able to get the save over there on Mr. Lenane, who's a very well-known Mortis in EU. Uh, I'm going to walk up again. This uh, this Tara is going to get super. I'm going to knock back. And this is a very big misplay because I thought the, the, the Mortis was in distance. So I gave him back the ball. I was going to get the kill to charge my super. But instead, he dashed. He had a really good dribble, a really quick dribble. That, that one was definitely my bad over there. And that goal shouldn't have happened. But anyways, he's going to play really well against us. Patchy's going to spin. Kind of a waste of a spin over there. Don't really know why he did it. Um, he was able to pick up two shots over there. One on the BB, one on the Tara. So Patchy's doing a pretty good job over here, actually. He's holding down this right side pretty well. I'm just in the bushes. Patchy, I'm going to get that ball off to make sure that the Tara is still hit. Patchy probably should have gone for the shot over there, but instead went to dash on Lenane. Lenane's going to go down either way. Um... This is actually pretty close, but we're able to get the shot off over there. We know that this Tara does... This Tara just solo sucks. I hate that about Tara's, but it's a very effective move. Uh, we're going to go up over here. Again, we almost had a goal, but we weren't able to get it. Got the triple hit. Almost got to the ball. At least we got one kill. We charged our super back. Doing pretty good. OG's going to go for the super. Really unfortunate Brock missiles over there as he wasn't able to pick up the kill. Lenane's moving up this left side pretty on a pretty sneak basis. Uh, we're able to get him with that top over there. Patchy's going to go for the spin. Don't know why, because the Tara just had her pull. Um, we're kind of taking this a little bit patient. I decided since Patchy isn't really holding down his lane or doing enough damage, we're just going to give the ball to Patchy and try and do this one ourselves when it comes to picking up the lanes. He's just going to throw the ball right to the BB, though, and there's just nothing we can do. Gave the BB a wide open shot. No way we can defend it, and that is going to end the competitive game. So it's actually a really good game. Although we did lose, it's always fun to play games against really good players. So GG's to them. They're an awesome team. And that is going to wrap up the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It was super, super fun um, to make this type of video. If you guys like this really high level rank 35 stuff, let me know in the comments below. And I'll do more brawlers. I intend to do all of the brawlers, but obviously that does take a lot of time. Probably going to do two or three a season, dependent on how busy I am. So anyways, that's going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, you know, let me know. Leave a like. And that's it. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Peace.